Certainly, you'll agree with me that there's nothing as annoying, as irritating, it really gets on your skin when you're trying to run some computer game on, on your laptop or your, you know, your desktop computer and uh, there are some events taking place there in the background that is disturbing, inhibiting one way or the other the performance of your system and ultimately impacting you, know, uh, you running that game. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of tweaks uh, for you that you can use to tweak that Windows operating system <laughs> uh, so that you get the best, the most out of your gaming experience. My name is Roger. Thank you for dropping by again. And before jumping into the video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscription button if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel. And also, as you go through the video, uh, hit that like button also if you're getting value from it and share the video also. Let's jump right into the video. Well, the first thing I have on my list here is to make sure that you kill those background processes. So you may have things like notifications that you know pop up from time to from time, time. You want to make sure that you disable those. And of course you can go to uh, settings in Windows 11 and uh, then you're going to go to system, system and then notification here and then you you can turn it off also uh bear in mind too that things like your antivirus if you have also have a firewall running on the system uh, those can disrupt your game but guess what also i am not going to be the one to tell you to turn off your your firewall and antivirus or to disable them i'm not going to be the one to do that all right uh you'll make that decision but bear in mind that as i mentioned before the potentially um you know may disrupt your games uh, when you're running them all right the other thing that i want to turn to um is that you can also in windows 11 there is a game mode so to access that or to enable it it's windows key letter g and uh, that's what will turn on the game mode and uh, from here too you can tweak you know a number of things so you can tweak things like your audio you can look at performance and so forth and of course there is support for your your xbox uh, console another thing that is critical thing that you should bear in mind is that you are to ensure that your graphics card has the latest updates so from time to time you know you should check for those updates and of course if they if you have if you're having the latest graphics drivers then you know that will ensure that you are able to optimize on performance and also uh, better guarantee compatibility for those games that you'll be running on the system all right the other thing that you want to pay attention to is your graphics so again go to settings and then you're going to look at your display well i said graphics but i'm meaning display so you go to display and of course you can tweak here so things like hdr if if your system supports HDR, uh, you can uh, uh, enable this feature. And what it does is that it's technology that works to enhance, you know, the visual visuals that you get from your monitor. So you can enable enable that if your system supports it. Um, additionally, you can tweak your resolution. So you can select the resolution that you want to to run. Uh, you can change also the orientation of your display uh, from here among other things so you know you can go through uh, and you know play around with the settings there next update your windows os so make sure that you have those updates uh, running uh, and of course if you have if you have the setting if you have it set to auto update then you know you shouldn't have any problems there the other thing that you may want to do to tweak your system to optimize on your games is to turn off memory integrity. Now to access this, it is going to be um, Windows key and then here you're going to type core, that's C-O-R-E, isolation. Uh, I should tell you that memory integrity is a security feature that is built into the windows os 
And what it does is that it what it does is that it protects against unauthorized modification to you know things like system codes uh on the system. So if you turn it off, then that will help to give you some leverage when you're running those games. Next, turn off virtualization. Now, to turn off virtualization, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to click on the Windows key on your keyboard or keypad. And here, you're going to type Windows Features. So that's Windows uh, Features. Uh, here it is. You're going to click there. It'll take a few seconds to come up. And then you're going to navigate down to the bottom. So you're going to look for uh, VMP. Uh, here it is. Uh, virtual machine uh, platform. So if it is if it is enabled, you're gonna disable that. Uh, remove the check mark from there, and then click OK. Uh, when you do that, it may require that you restart your system. And finally, I basically saved the best for last. So, what will definitely help to improve the performance of your system when you are running those games is to ensure that you have uh, sufficient hardware to push these games and especially these games nowadays they really take a lot of resources a lot of uh, storage space uh, some games may require that you have at least you know something like a hundred uh, gigabytes of storage for instance you know and that may be even quite conservative for some games uh, look at things like the amount of memory, the physical memory that you have in the in the system. Um, here, I would say, well, there are different system requirements, but I would say make sure that you have at least uh, a 16 gig uh, RAM uh, DDR4 in the system. Ideally, you know, again, based on you know the games that you're running and the system requirements of you know those games, you may even need as much as 24 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. What about the processor? Yes, definitely. So, again, you know, you will have different system requirements, varying system requirements uh, for some of these games. But I would say look at things like, you know, um, Intel Core i7 processor or higher. Uh, look at, you know, something like a Ryzen uh, 7 processor. You know, uh, processors in those calibers will definitely go uh, far away to push your games. And what about your GPU? Yeah, man. So make sure that you have a graphics card, good graphics card. Uh, most games, again, the minim minimum system requirements uh, for the graphics card, you know, would be like 8 gigabytes, uh, GDDR5. Uh, here again, I would say, you know, make sure that you have at least, you know, well, well, uh, the, the recommendation would be to stay away from just having the beer minimum, but to look at, you know, even something like a 16 gig uh, GDDR or GDDR6, uh, you know, which is relatively new in the market here, you know, or higher. All right. So if you have the, if you know, if you do these tweaks, uh, take into consideration the, you know, what I mentioned about the hardware, then you will definitely have some good leverage there to run those games. All right, so all the best in your tweaking. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and see you again in the next video. Take care.